updates that I'll add. Awesome. All enjoy. right, welcome everybody to the Wednesday, September 22nd edition of the uh, DEI Working Group for Chaos. I am your facilitator, Elizabeth, today. Um, before we jump in, do we have a volunteer for next time? Actually, next meeting is canceled, so it will be in two weeks. Um, I'm happy to do it. That's no problem. Sold. But then I should be back on track. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to put you down. Thanks, Matt. And if everybody could add themselves to the minutes as an attendee, that'd be great. If you don't feel like doing that, also totally fine. Uh, I'll just put them in here one more time, just in case anybody missed that. And yeah, we can just jump right into it. Um, we haven't done this in a while, I don't think. I don't think, but do we want to just kind of go around and, and uh, since we're talking about kind of feeling a little hectic, does everybody want to just kind of say hi and say how you're doing? Um, Justin, you get to go first. Oh man, so it's been, I guess, both kind of a busy week. On one hand, I got a nice short break this weekend, did a, a short trip to Montenegro and got to be away from the technology and got to go into the mountains for a little bit, but on the other hand, um, also got some exciting stuff going on with, with work, with um, the open source inventory. That's a project of like a knowledge base of best practices around open source. Um, we're getting ready to launch a like a, a toolkit or best practices guide around like drone technology and how to, uh, I'm helping support a colleague who's trying to launch this site. So it's cool to see some of these things start to grow and more of these open source best practices start to gather up. That's been a little bit on what my week has been. So I'll, I'll toss it to Matt Snell. Yeah, um, thank you, Justin. Um, I'm glad to be here. Um, I'm still waffling on the Matt Snell, Matt Cantu thing. I feel like I have a lot tied to my old name, but I have a new name. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm still figuring that out. <laughs> So, There's nothing um, wrong with keeping your name, just saying, because I never changed mine. Yeah, uh, there, there's a there's a lot of, I did a lot of waffling before I changed it too. So, and, and, and there's also the aspect of the university system um, is not, it's not very good at changing names. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm really, um, really happy to be here um, working on some really exciting badging stuff. We'll get to that in the in the meet, meeting minutes. And I'm really excited for the upcoming conferences. I'll pass it to Lauren. Hey everybody, uh, things have been going pretty well here. Uh, work's been really busy right now at work. My team kind of got split apart because there's some busy stuff going on on another team that's kind of adjacent to us. And so half of our team went over to like work with them. And so there's a lot of pressure to kind of get things done, but uh, things have been good otherwise. I went to one of my friend's weddings this past weekend. I'm going to help my brother move back home um, this coming weekend. And then my husband and I are going to do a trip to Boston. So like lots of just good, exciting things happening. I can't complain. Uh, and I'll pass it over to Kafaya. Hi, everyone. I'm surviving the week. <laughs> Um, I got to review my first event last week, thanks to Matt. So that was exciting and I'm excited to do more. And I'm moving while trying to balance my school schedule. So it's been kind of overwhelming, but I'm going to power through. <laughs> and now I'm going to pass it on to Emily. Hi everyone, good morning. Um, my week, I'm surprised it's Wednesday. It feels like a Monday still. So I'm kind of happy that it's Wednesday. <laughs> but, um, you know, we have a lot of event stuff like everyone else. So um, just going through that and crossing our T's and dotting our I's and things of that nature. Um, lots of social media stuff is happening. But other than that, um, I don't, well, Matt knows this, but I uh, started a boot camp like three weeks ago. So I'm sore all the time. <laughs> so now it's normal. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, has everyone gone? 
No. Have you gone, Matt G? No. Hi. Oh. Thanks, Emily. <laughs> Hi. Uh, so things are also uh, good for me. I don't know if you saw in the chat. I got to hold an Olympic medal yesterday from Tokyo, which was pretty cool. Yeah. So uh, it was bronze and they're heavy and they're cool. So <laughs> and it's not mine, <laughs> uh, but that was pretty cool. So makes for kind of a fun week amongst all this like busy stuff. Uh, I will hand it off to Amy. So I have new flooring on the downstairs. They're working on the upstairs. So if we move outside, that means they're banging around a bit again up there. Um, and I'm just excited to see people next week. It's been so long. So I came in late, so I'm not sure who has a let me look at Bammy or Elizabeth. Either have gone. I'll go with Elizabeth. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm super, super busy like everybody else. And uh, yeah, um, besides like chaos stuff and chaos con coming up, uh, we're moving my parents into another house Friday and they're both bedridden. So it's like a logistical kind of tricky thing. Um, but hopefully that goes smoothly. And then, um, yeah, the... Um, fall uh, and winter uh, art shows are back. So I have quite a few of those and um, I do a lot with the marching band for my son. So there's competitions every weekend and he's a senior. So there's all kinds of senior stuff going on. And I'm teaching a photography class, uh, just a quick one uh, in a couple weeks. Actually, the day I fly back from Seattle, I teach that night. <laughs> and then I'm shooting a friend's wedding, a friend's daughter's wedding the next day. It's just a lot. So um, I, I'm gonna probably be taking a vacation sometime. I don't know when, but sometime soon, because <laughs> I need to just like go away from everyone <laughs> like, and just be alone, like in a cabin in the woods or something. I don't know. Um, Bammy, hi. I know you're very new to the group. Welcome, welcome. We're really happy to see you here. Um, we are just kind of going around saying how we're doing. So I don't know if you feel like doing that. If you do, awesome. If not, that's totally fine too, not to put you on the spot or anything like that. Okay. Hi. I am Bami from Nigeria. <laughs> so I just joined the company um, yesterday, and so I I kind of like fell in love with the diversity and inclusion working space. So I plan to join the meeting this afternoon. So I really do not understand what's going on though. But could you explain what I'm supposed to do? You don't really have to do anything but um, hang out with us. Um, we, we are just kind of going around right now and just saying how we're doing, like how, what, what's going on in our lives and oh. like how we're feeling. That's it. Okay. Super informal. Uh, oh, all right, all right. So basically what's going on is I applied for a couple of internships and it's, it's really, really, <laughs> it's draining me out. <laughs> and then I, I just finished the meeting before coming to this one. I, I am an, an open source community too. So we just had our weekly meeting just before I came here. Uh, so basically, and here in Nigeria, I am serving. I just finished school. So I am serving my father's country in a way. <laughs> so um, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Well, welcome, welcome. We're really happy to see you. Thanks for joining yeah. us today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn on live transcript since we have uh, we have that ability to do that now. Um, we're going to try to do that for all of the uh, working groups in chaos and all the meetings. I mean, you can. I think you can um, enable that individually with the. Uh, there's a button at the bottom of the screen. It should have a little CC in it. This is live transcript on it. So if anybody has questions about that, let me know. Pretty cool. Did you see it, Elizabeth? Did you note if it goes to YouTube? Oh, I forgot to look. I okay. forgot to look. I will do that. Cool. Um, okay, we can go ahead and jump in with the, the agenda. Um, it's right here in case anybody needs that. And um, again, if you want to write your name down as an attendee, awesome. If not, totally fine too. Uh, we are 
we are very informal here. And also just to reinforce, it's totally fine to have your camera off if you would like, not a big deal either way. Um, so the first thing on the agenda here, I can share my screen here. Make sure I share the right one, there we go. Um, so the first thing on here is our closed captioning. Thank you very much, Matt, for looking into that and enabling that on the chaos level so we can have that at every every um, meeting. And for people who are using that, has that been helpful to those? Is it distracting? Is it good, bad? I just was curious if anyone has thoughts. I have no problem with it just because you can turn it off. Like yeah. I don't need it during the meeting, so. Yeah, no, it, it's move. it's kind of cool. Yeah, you we can haven't yeah. done the live close the live transcript. We did um, one of the technical committee meetings so that we would have a transcript. The format's not that great, so um, I'll be curious to see if because we're doing a live transcript, if the transcript itself is better later. And what were you going to say, Emily? No, I was just stating that I, I like that you can move it to where you need it to. Because when you when I just put it full screen, it was like right in the middle, but you can move it around to where you need oh, it to be. I didn't know that you could do that. That's awesome. Yeah. How do you do that? Oh, you just click and oh my gosh, you can yep. just drag it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, it's interesting because it looks like you just used your mouse to drag it, and I don't ah. see it on your share screen. <laughs> but I don't see it. That's it's awesome. Probably, you see, like, I don't see your live transcript right now on your shared screen. Oh, you don't? Okay. Mm, so I'm guessing it does not show up in YouTube then. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I will double check that, though. I forgot to look. I just saw your cursor moving around and you saying, wee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was just my, cool. my, own, <laughs> my own entertainment. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for that tip, Emily. That was super helpful. I didn't know you could do that. So amazing. Uh, any other questions, feedback, comments, anything? All right, we'll move on. Then I'm going to turn this over to Matt Cantu Snell for his update on the DEI badging initiative. Hi. Um, so the the um, the update coming up is that we're working on. Um, I should say that the chaos project has a badging has a freeze going on right now. I'm so used to calling it a badging freeze, but um, I'm so happy that the chaos project is going to have so many new metrics for us to work with. We're going to have a time from October first to the fifth where we have a few extra like two hour meetings, we're going to be putting together some, um, some more badging materials and our freeze happens October 5th. So, you know, with all that information there, just know that October 1st to the 5th, we're going to be doing a lot of work. And if you'd like to join in, totally free to. Um, and that until in November 1st will be the release of badging version three, which will have a lot more changes. Um, then moving from version one to version two. So I'm really excited about that. Um, Matt, what are the what are the new metrics? Um, the new metrics and inclusive experience at event is one of them. We have um, speaker and attendee demographics merging into the demographic the the event demographics section. And um, let me see. We have one other one. Isn't there is, is it like ver global inclusivity? Is that what it is? Um, time inclusion for virtual events. Yeah, it had that name, had some kind of name like that recently too. Okay. Um, so those are, we've got a lot, all of those are going to hopefully be added to the checklist and, and uh, before that badging freeze. And that badge, during that badging freeze, we'll be working on what changes we're going to have, um, you know, how we're going to, how we're going to review those and change anything about them that we might need to change. So. I'm really excited to see that um, so many people are interested so far. And um, a big update from yesterday is yesterday we got 13 applications. We had um, KubeCon strikes again, I guess. <laughs> but um, we, we all of the KubeCon and the co-located events have <laughs> applied for a badge, and that's really exciting. Um, and 
And uh, I just wanted to give some context for anyone who hasn't, who doesn't know a lot about the badging initiative, badging project. Um, we have a project where we provide badges to um, events in kind of the open source or the tech space that um, they apply for a badge and then we provide that to them um, based on how their diversity, equity, and inclusion practices are going at their event and um, what, it, what they're really working on um, in, in respect to, to DEI. Uh, I'm gonna put a link here uh, of the issues page just because our, all our applications happen on the issues and you can check out all the random, not random, you can check out all the many applications we've gotten in the past day. I think they all happened in the span of like three hours. Uh, so I'm super excited. Yeah, that was crazy. They just kept coming in. Yeah, it's. I think it's great. And we've got uh, the other thing I wanted to mention in respect to that is we are looking for more reviewers. Uh, there's not really a high requirement as long as you care about DEI and you're willing to learn a little more about the badging initiative. So um, we will. Um, we've got some. Um, let, let's see. Uh, let me let me get the link for the document that you can apply to be a reviewer. Um, did you get any yesterday? I know Elizabeth had sent it out to the list. Yeah, we did. We did not um, from that yet. Uh, normally, I, I've seen that sometimes we'll have people like we haven't gotten a big response at first, but then we have people come in, kind of trickle in after a few days, which is something I've never seen anywhere else. That that happens always like that. So. Okay. I'm, um, I'm, I'm interested to see how this one goes. It, and, might, uh, it, it might make sense for these like 13 new applications because that's 26 reviewers and I bet you don't have 26 reviewers. Yeah, I've, I've actually reached out. We have a, a, a signal chat for all the reviewers that um, are interested in the signal chat. And um, we, I've been asking if people want to do more than one, like two reviews instead okay. of just one. You and might want to also just reach out to any folks that you know are that are active in the chaos project and just say listen this is an ad hoc request mm -hmm. i'm happy to i like i'm happy to to walk through like what is what goes into doing a badging review um, absolutely and i'm trying to get as much of this done as possible before the open source summit because then it will be a lot more um i'll, I'll have a lot more time before then <laughs> okay so uh, I'm, I'm doing, I'm working on that a lot today and tomorrow, I think. Okay. Amy just said she would do more than one. Yeah. Thank you, Amy. I'll, um, I've got a little um, tracking, tracking thing I'm doing. So I'll I go would ahead too. and get you done for more than one. Okay, you would you are, I mean, you're right. Cause this does seem like KubeCon strikes again. Like <laughs> this, this happened. This is the second time this has happened. I can, I can do nothing but thank. Um, oh, it's the amazing. Who applied though. Yeah. yeah it's Wendy. And their sites are pretty much cookie cutter, so you already yeah. know where you're looking for stuff. So mm -hmm. once you do the first one for them, it doesn't take you long at all. And yeah. she's been through all these before. So she, I mean, so any discussions that we had kind of occurred last time is what I'm feeling. You know yeah. what I mean? Anything that we had to ask. Yeah, definitely. I think they've refined their process and that's what we really want to see. Um, one other thing to mention for what we're trying to do for the next um, iteration of this review process is I think the metrics will help with this, but increasing the um, requirements to get a badge, um, because I think all the badges we've given so far have been gold, which is great. And we need to um, probably make it more of a gold standard than it is a, the, the what you get every time. So. Yeah, that's, that's my update for badging. I'm, I'm just super excited to see how things are going. And happy to have all the people contributing that are and, and thankful. So I just got to say congratulations to Matt and all of the folks that have been part of like setting that up, like the whole the whole process. Um, I don't think how old is the badging program at this point a year? Yeah, I, I tallied it up for the OSS presentation that we're doing, and um, we have had 30 applications in less in about a year. I mean, that's pretty, I think, wasn't something like, didn't we have one like last December? That was our first one. Yeah, I, since December. Yeah, because we had a little bit of outreach that we did before um, we got any applications. So, I mean, it's been like 30, and, and does that include these 13 that just came in? No, no, that would make it about um, 45. Yeah, so 45 in like nine months. <laughs> That's pretty incredible. So obviously the process works well. Um, 
people are excited. So you should, that's really awesome. I should, I should send you a, a gift bag of a chaos lunch pail and a, some stickers. <laughs> I think I got enough of those already. Maybe a t-shirt. <laughs> Uh, Matt C, quick question for you. I did not put anything on Twitter about um, recruiting new reviewers. Would you like me to? Or I don't know if you want to open it up that much. I don't know. Absolutely. I want to open it up as much as possible, really. Okay. Um, I think Twitter is where we've gotten about four of our reviewers. So that'd be great. Okay. Will do. Any other questions for Matt C? Awesome job, Matt. You're amazing. All right, I guess we can move along then. Um, we have a, uh, we're trying to sort out our new goals since we hadn't really looked at this doc in a while. Um, I don't know what this means. Top level objectives? It can mean anything because I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> TLOs, I love that. It sounds so official and so it like <laughs> executive-y. Um, should I click on this doc or is it just like blank or? There's, we'll I don't, see know. I don't even know what I put in there. Maybe oh, that was what we talked about. Those are the TLOs, week. I did it. Yay, see, good job. Uh, do we wanna spend a little time like collaborating on this doc or? Are we like, how are we feeling about that? Let's see what else we have to talk about. Can we do it like in two weeks? I just, yeah, I feel like I'd need to like structure the conversation a little bit. Yeah, yeah, a hundred percent agree with that. And I don't know if my brain is really in that place to like think about the future because I'm still <laughs> focused on like, what am I doing today? Like, I can't. Yeah, I can't get Come on, right foot, you can do it. Come on, left foot. <laughs> <laughs> it's your turn now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just um, put this for Oh, and that also um, reminds me to let you, everybody know that hasn't heard this already. Since a lot of us will be out next week at uh, OSSNA conference, um, we are not going to have a meeting next week. The DEI working group, we're not going to have that. So um, join us again in two weeks. So there you go. All right. Um, last week, we also talked about chaos onboarding. Uh, is that something we want to talk about? more do we have stuff like did we work on that anyone yeah i have a little more about that oh, um yay a little more content so the talking about onboarding um it's at it's on the next page it's on the second page here um oh, it's highlighted okay so i kind of thought let's tackle one thing at a time and I think a good thing to tackle for this next week would be to um, focus on that learn more button on the website that doesn't provide any um, unique value right now. I'd like to try and use it for a contribution. Like if you're new to chaos, this is what I'd like you to check out. Um, and that's, that's about it really. I mean, that, that could be a great start, I think. And uh, and I think uh, I, I think someone had brought up the Drupal get involved button, which is very useful in kind of thinking how this would work. Thank you for the action item. Whoever did that, I um, I think that would be a, a good way to um, get something going. Cool. I don't know how to make that work. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it doesn't. I don't I don't know what the secret is. Honestly, if you add a comment uh, and then you add the person, it will uh, automatically give you the option to assign that person from the comment to just a little tidbit there. Perfect. All right. Okay. Thanks, Matt, for working on that. And uh, if anybody wants to help him with that or 
anything has any other comments about that um Bami, this might be something you know if you have feedback as a new newer contributor a newer person to chaos um you know any feedback you have would be excellent because um, we are we realize our onboarding is not the best so <laughs> we're trying to make it better so uh, as a newer person your feedback would, would be amazing um all right so do we want to review our metrics here to see if we have any comments on yeah, issues really easy enough i don't think we had any i was no. kind of looking through them before i was too that one's just like add that header to the top yeah um yeah okay uh i think we're good i think so too okay um and then pull requests we have some of these that are just hanging out, like are really old. Do we, what do we want to do with these? Like this was approved, but we never merged it in. Can you click on the file change? Oh yeah, I think this one was easy. So I'll, let me just merge that. Okay. That's this one. Looks like Justin, you had some comments on this. Okay. This might take a little bit of reviewing. Oh, but actually. Um, Matt, this Matt G, this one was yours. Do you want to kind of take a look at Justin's comments? And... I will. Okay. Let me give me the eight action item, and I'll go through these a little bit because I actually think okay. that first one, the first pull request, like there were some suggestions on just it was like grammar edits, and I don't know that we want all of them. I think that was the hold up. Okay. You know what I mean? Like some of the edits were good but others were not quite in the spirit of the metric all right there we go um okay we'll go ahead and move on then we're doing mm -hmm. good mm -hmm. um operations team did you it looks like you talked yeah. to them Awesome. I did. Yeah. That. So basically, I don't remember where this operations team came up. Was it here? Okay. So we had talked about um, putting together a team of folks who would kind of help coordinate operations across the chaos project as a whole. So not just within an individual working group. And we realized that over the course of Google Summer of Code, um, Yash and Ritik had been doing this work because of their um, work in the repositories to kind of streamline and get those repositories being consistent across working groups. So I reached out to Yash and Ritik to see if they'd be interested in taking on a leadership role in the, the developing a new operations team. And the response was, yeah. and um this would help in it not only like standardizing repositories but like the work that elizabeth and justin and i and others have been doing on the chaos dei reflection that because the audit team doesn't do the implementation they simply make recommendations um that this operations team could help kind of lead those implementations. It's not that Yash and Ritik would have to do it, but they would, you know, kind of coordinate the efforts to get it done. Um, so I'm pretty happy. And actually it made me think too, this is maybe something we should think about from a, a future mentoring perspective. So we've had Google Summer of Code. So I'm, anyway, I'm really happy with that they're willing to take on that role. So that's kind of stop on that one. But then it made me think more largely that as we have 
individuals who participate, say, in Outreachy or in Google Summer of Code, I think we always just kind of have this hope that they will stay around the project. And, you know, as we all know, as we as we introduced ourselves today, life is life gets in the way of things sometimes. And um, even to Bami's point earlier, like, how, what do I what do I do that? These are good questions. So maybe we could think about mentorship in the future as being more deliberate that when the mentorship is over, we spend time as a community or as a working group to think about like, you know, our own path to leadership and our own path to, to contributing to the project. And, you know, uh, assigning is the wrong word, but like, trying to find points of connection between the mentees and and new positions or, or leading a working group or whatever it might be that we actually reach out and try to make that connection um, with and for individuals. Because I think that helping Yash and Ritik in this case kind of connect in this leadership role for the operations team, it's, it's, it's really great. It's, I think it's, it's great for both sides. So maybe we need to think about that in the future, just from our mentoring, as opposed to just hoping people stay around. I would agree with that 100%, all of what you just said. Okay, cool. Does anyone else have thoughts or comments around that? or on the operations team? All right then. Nobody has any strong feelings, I guess. Um, Justin had a comment. He said it's oh, good I'm to make sorry. the connection, um, but it's also tricky when money paid work are a factor and being a student. Yeah, maybe I can just verbalize this a bit. Yeah. I guess it's something I've seen in other communities as well, especially around like some of the outreachy or Google Summer of Code internship experiences. Just that, you know, when the context is you're being paid to work on a project, sometimes that's easier to have that uh, ability to take on those roles and do those kinds of things. But while some people may have the privilege to be able to take on that kind of leadership role outside of a paid context, not everyone has that that privilege too. So I think it's always good to make the connection, but it's just something, it's a common struggle I've seen, not just in chaos, but in many different communities. And even for me, when I was a GSOC student, actually, like five years back, um, it's just tricky when there, there's lots of other factors that aren't always in our control. So that's why it's good to make a connection, but I also don't know if it should always be a goal that retention, like, I don't know if retention should always be a deliberate goal. Like it's nice or it's great when that works out, but I think it's just, uh, like the, the paid piece can be a powerful dynamic too. I don't know if that's really a helpful comment or not. I don't know, or I'm just rambling a bit, but it's just something I've seen. I've seen this struggle a lot in many other communities too. And it's, it's something I've thought about a little bit too. Maybe um, then on to that point, as we try to identify people who go through the mentorship program, like also make, um, listening part of our process while they are mentees or in the mentorship program and if the individuals are expressing an interest to stay connected with the project during that period we work to to try to make that connection if you know sometimes people just to justin's point maybe it's a paid internship and that's all that it needs to be um, then that's also cool too and we respect both paths Plus one. Is that something that uh, comes up in the like the end of the GSOC session? Like it is part of like the evaluation or feedback or something? Is that like a question that they get asked? Is it um, interesting? We asked it. It actually came up when we were doing the podcast, when Kevin, Georg, and I were doing the podcast with Ritik and Yash. You know, because we just asked what their like future plans are. But maybe we should include like an exit survey or survey, uh, just a debrief with the students and kind of ask that question. 
yeah, that might be interesting. I don't, I don't know if they would answer honestly if they don't want, they don't want to be, you know, if they're like in talking to you guys and they're like, yeah, no, I don't, I don't like yeah, this no subject pass. at all. You're all over all. <laughs> I'm uh, out of here. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's just the listening then too, because I you can get a sense of kind of where people are sometimes. I think Sometimes. I gotta like go ahead. Yeah, I think I gotta like relate to everything because I've kind of like applied to some internship paid and unpaid. And you can't give um um some kind of more energy to the paid one. <laughs> to the paid one, you can't put more energy to it. And then afterwards it's it's just about the decision of moving forward or moving ahead or still staying back probably depends on uh, the project how interesting it is and how um the individual who is like um interested or willing to give more to that project even after the uh, internship duration yeah that's good made me think too that we should probably like as there are different kind of angles into a project the paid angles and the not paid angles like really ensuring that we recognize the good work as well i think that can maybe help sometimes in this regard <laughs> i mean part of what we do is we always try to like to as people are contributing make sure that those contributions are having a positive impact on the world and trying to push what that impact can be. So, so many things to do. All right, any other thoughts on, on this topic? Okay. Um, Chaos DEI event badging. We should do this. Is that to for Chaos Con? Is that what this? Yeah, is? that's what I meant. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, we should do event badging. That, that's yeah. a great idea. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I really dug deep into the. <laughs> if only somebody would have been doing that for a year. That would have been awesome. Um, okay. My question with this is, I 100% agree. And for those who don't know what this is. So that the, next week we have Chaos Con, which is a half day conference at the end of OSSNA, um, which some of us are gonna be out there in Seattle to help host. Um, we wanted to put it, put it through our own DEI event badging process. Um, my question is how do we do that and keep it objective? Since so many of us are also, that are doing the reviewing are also involved in Chaos Con. What if we just, like you and I, Elizabeth, just sat down and walked through, like almost just did our own review. We don't have to badge ourselves. You know, we are the okay. chaos project. <laughs> like, I mean, it, I agree. It's a little bit weird. Yeah. Um, but, but we can just walk through and like, take a look at our code of conduct, take a look at our speaker and attendee demographics, like that stuff Ray had shared yesterday like a survey that we could use, um, you know, how are we attending to family friendliness? Like if we need to put a statement, you know, like you and I can just do this manually. Okay. I thought, cause I'm, I'm with you. And I think Kevin had brought this up too. It's a little bit odd to badge yourself. It's like patting yourself on the back. <laughs> right. <laughs> but I think the process is awesome. And so I would really like to see chaos con, you know, be as, as inclusive as we can. And so I think, um, you know, I think that's a good idea, Matt. We'll just do it and- We don't have to go it. through the, like create an issue and assign reviewers. Um, what about putting a call out for reviewers? Like totally external reviewers? Yeah. We could. Hit the Twitters and retweet it and say, we're looking for two people who are willing to evaluate us based on our criteria. And because we're putting it out there in the open in the first place, the whole and the GitHub is open. We just 
make it all open. If we want to be badged, we don't have to be badged. Just thought. We could, and then Justin had a comment too. The reviewer neutral process. Yeah, I, I think I'm new yet, so I'm so neutral, so to speak. <laughs> so I could, I could check the review too, right? Matt, are there reviewers in the pool that you think would be objective in this regard? I see. That's okay. You can just nod yes or no. What was that? A coffee cup? Are you happy? Oh, your mouse is broken. Okay, his mouse is broken. You are unmuting every now and then. Me? No, Matt. Oh, okay. All right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think maybe just for now that we just, Matt G, you and I just kind of go through it now since it is literally next week and we already have 13 applications to be reviewed and we don't, I mean, maybe we don't need to put one more in the in the pile for now. So what Certainly do you think? Let's at least start it. I mean, even if we yeah. put it through the process is something we should do anyway. Like yes. you and I need to go through and make sure we're aligned. Yeah. A fair part of the process. Okay, cool. Awesome. Let's do I'll do it. Did I fix it? You did. Oh my gosh, my zoom. I had to like go into my task manager and kill my zoom process. Oh, that was a pain. Uh, my zoom just locked up. So um, I would be willing to do this kind of thing, but I don't think I could do it for this chaos con um, just because we have uh, so many more applications right now, like someone had said while I was killing my process of Zoom. <laughs> but um, I think this is something to keep in mind for future chaos cons, and I'd like to do that for future chaos cons. Cool. All right, uh, we have about five minutes left. So um, the next thing on here says all in. I'm guessing Matt G put that on there. That was me. So this is, I think this is a project that I've brought up here. This is a new project that's kind of originating from GitHub and it's all in and there's two components, all in for students and all in for maintainers. And all in for students is a program where students can apply to go through a process to um, kind of learn more about open source and how open source can impact the way that, that we work and, um, and how it exists in the world today. And then All In for Maintainers is about helping maintainers um, better center DEI within their own open source projects. The point I wanted to make here is that I was talking to Demetrius a couple of days ago, Demetrius is the head of diversity, equity, and belonging at GitHub. And she had mentioned that right now, one of the thoughts is that all in for maintainers would actually follow a, a badging model similar to what we do for events. So the event, <laughs> I see a smile there. So the, the, um, the event badging model is really looked on very positively because it's a model that occurs, as we all know, like in the open, it's on an issue. So like anybody who submits, it's an open and transparent conversation about how to improve DEI with events. Um, and the same would, would hold true for projects. Um, so I'm not quite sure what this looks like, but I just wanted to put it on, on like in people's minds that there may be a conversation where we start taking a look at badging from a project or a community perspective. And as we all know, there are really big scaling issues associated with that. It's one thing to find reviewers for events. It's another thing to find reviewers for, for projects. I think as it's, well, I it's, think... 
Oh, go ahead, Matt. Um, I think it's really good that we did start with events. And I was thinking we what it was one of the things on our we want to do kind of docket that we're going to start on project badging, but this is a great way to get it kick started and get that moving. And I was just going to add to the scaling issues. You also have the like the periodic review, re-reviewing, whereas events are like kind of, you know, packaged up nicely. Like when you have a new event, you have a new badge and what projects are, you know, last a long time. So you would have to like that process. do it yearly. And if mm -hmm. you have a hundred projects that have gone through it, that's, that's just the, the number is really high. And so I'm not quite sure how we maintain an open and transparent reviewed process with respect to DEI for projects and versus, you know, just kind of a self, um, like a, a, a self-identified badge. I think um, CII has a really good model for this, as we've talked about a lot before. Um, and I think, I think we can, oh, go ahead. They, they do. So I think we need to look at that, but like with their process, do you know if the, if the core infrastructure initiative, do you know if their model would like, let's say we have something that, that it's about code of conduct and there's a clear code of conduct enforcement policy. And how do we like the project could say, yeah, we've got it. And a reviewer might be like, yeah, no, you don't, you know, you have an email but it's not a documented policy by which like a grievance is filed and the process is followed through with. So how do we like reconcile a project saying, yeah, we do this and a reviewer is like, you don't really do it. I'm not sure. So uh, the, the thing that makes me, that I think of that we have in the badging initiative for events is provide proof, provide a link, provide this document here. And then if people want to review that and call them out, they, they have it. We need a system for that as well. But this okay. sounds like a lot of things kind of in the works. <laughs> it does. So I just I wanted to put that on, on people's mind just because it seems like it's it's coming. And we don't have the capacity in the chaos project to support this. We just do not have it. And I'll, <laughs> I'll trust me, I'll be very adamant about that. <laughs> All right, well, we are out of time today. Um, so thank you everybody for coming. Reminder, no meeting next week. We'll pick up again in two weeks. And uh, Matt G is our facilitator. So yeah, everybody have a great rest of your week and we will talk to you all later. Great seeing awesome. everybody. Thank you. Nice you Bye. Bye. Bye.